Hi, my name is Justin Lemon. I'm a technical sales consultant at Digital Light Innovations here in Austin, Texas. Welcome to our support series. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly deploy the 3DLP9000 light engine right out of the box. In this video, we're going to go over how to install the software and drivers, what's included in the box, the connector layout, how to power on the light engine, and how to use the device safely. Now before we get started, go ahead and jump on the Windows PC that you're going to use to control the light engine because we need to download and install the software and drivers. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to walk you through the download and installation steps on my computer, but in case you would like a list, here's the step-by-step -step guide for how to download and install the software and drivers on your Windows PC. From your Windows PC, go ahead and open up a new web page browser and type in ti.com forward slash product forward slash DLP9000 forward slash tools software and it'll take you to this page right here. So once you're here, you're going to see tools and software and some other tabs. So go ahead and click on tools and software. Okay, so here is the software files you need to download. Now there's going to be two. The first one here, the DLP Lightcrafter 6500 and 9000 firmware software bundle, as well as the DLP C900 configuration and support firmware. So let's go ahead and download this file first, the Lightcrafter 6500 and 9000 firmware. So it's going to take you to this page. Now, if you want to see more details on what it all includes, then you can look here at the description section. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and just click download. All right, so now it's going to ask you to either log in or to create a new uh, myti.com registered account. So if you don't have one, just go ahead and fill this out. I already have one, so let me type in my information here. All right, and so it should take us back to that page. So it should continue. All right, now it's going to ask you to fill out one more thing. And so make sure to just fill that out and submit. Of course, it's true. All right, so now once we hit submit, it should bring up this uh, file for us to be able to download. All right, so here it is. So I would just go ahead and click download. All right, so now that we have the first file downloaded, let's go ahead and go grab the second file to download. So we'll want to go back to the main uh, ti.com forward slash product forward slash DLP 9000 forward slash tools software. Uh, browser page here. So if you're not there, just make sure to type that in manually and you'll be at the right page. So this is the file that we just installed, the firmware and software bundle. So next we're going to download the DLPC 900 configuration and support firmware. So let's go ahead and click that. And as, as I mentioned earlier, there's a description that goes into more detail of what all files are included. All right, so let's go ahead and hit download. So it's going to run you through the same motions here. So just click that. So civil. And, all right. And go ahead and submit. And then it should bring up the option to go ahead and download this file. All right. Here it is. So let's go ahead and click download. And it should start downloading here and populate on the PC on the bottom left. All right. So now we have both files downloaded. Next, we're going to go to the file that we have these saved in on our PC. So I'm going to pull up my folder here. Now you're going to have, see the two different software files. The first one we're going to want to run through is the one that says DLPC 900 Ref Software. So click on this here. Now it's going to ask you to run through the install wizard. So let's go ahead and start running through the wizard here. So we'll just want to click next. Accept the agreement terms. And just make sure that this is the directory where you want the file saved. That's perfect for me. So I'm going to hit next. Hit next again, and it's going to start running through the install wizard here. All right, so we're back at the original folder. We have everything saved in. We just did the ref software. Now we're going to click the DLPR 900 prom and run through the win uh, Windows installer on that one as well. All right, so let's go ahead and click Next. Make sure to, that it's saved in the correct directory and hit Next. And it's going to start doing the uh, install wizard here. Wow, that was quick. All right, so now let's click Finish. 
So now that we have both files installed, let's go find the original folder where the installer placed the files. I saved mine under the C drive where it says Texas Instruments DLP. All right, so now we're going to launch the GUI software. And so you'll see the PROM and the REF software. Go ahead and click the top one here, the DLPC 900 REF software. And then you'll see the GUI, which is the fourth one down. Okay. So now, towards the middle here, you're going to see where it says DLPC 900 REF dash GUI. Now we're going to want to launch it from here. So double click. All right, here we are. So it's going to show disconnected on the top left, but that's okay because we haven't powered on the unit yet. So let's go ahead and stop here because this completes the um, software installation portion. Excellent. So now you have the software and drivers installed on your Windows PC. Next, let's take a look at what all is included in the package. First of all, you have your fully assembled light engine. You have your power supply for powering up the light engine, USB cable for connectivity, as well as HDMI and display port cables for streaming video. Now before we plug in the cables, let's take a look at the board layout. So on one side, you're going to see the display port and the HDMI port right next to each other. On the opposite side of the board, you'll find the USB port. And on the back, on the LED driver board, the smaller board there, you're going to find the power supply connector. Excellent. So now you have your software and drivers installed, and we just looked at where the connectors are located. Next, we're going to power up the 3DLP9000 light engine. So we're going to grab our power supply, and like we looked at earlier, the connectors on the back located on the LED driver board. So once I plug it in, it's going to power up automatically. There's no switch. Next, we're going to plug in the USB cable here. So that's at the top of the board. All right, so that's plugged in. Now we're going to plug in the HDMI or display port. You can use one or the other. In this case, we're going to use the HDMI cable here. And that's on the opposite side of the board. All right. Before we end, I want to briefly discuss safety. So since we will be working with UV light, make sure to have your safety glasses on. Also, be mindful of static electricity, so make sure you're grounded here. Also, use a static mat so you can see how easy and quick it is to deploy the 3 dlp 9000 light engine right out of the box. So thank you very much for joining us today. We'll see you next time. To learn more about the 3 dlp 9000 light engine, please visit our website below. Also, make sure to tune in to our upcoming DLI deep dive series on the 3DLP9000 where we're going to take a more detailed look at the product itself. See you next time.